Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. I hope you're all well and staying safe. In this video we're going to be checking out an awesome ski lift built on the Mega Island. However, before we get started, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and me else you'd like to see any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and take a look at the ski lift. So we're just here at Harrison Air Base. Now we actually need to head down south down into the mountain range to go and get to the ski lift. So we're just going to take one of my CH-146 helicopter, the Griffin. We're going to start it up and we'll head down that direction. So let's get everything on. We'll get some backlighting on. Let's get some cabin lights on and possibly some electric. Okay, fantastic. Radios are all good. We can probably get this guy started here. Let's get our throttle up to about 18 here. We'll set a GPS waypoint for about there, so we'll see how that manages it. Let's get an altitude set. Let's get about 200 for now. Great, and let's put our autopilot on. Why not? Perfect, and then we should be heading down to that direction. Okay, so we're just coming up to the, looks like the bottom of the lift here before we actually start heading up to the mountain top. So what we're going to do is we'll just go and land it. So we're going to take our autopilot off and our altitude hold off and switch over to manual control here. And we'll just go in for a landing. And so it looks like the lifts are actually running already. I remember reading on the workshop, he said that it is autonomous. So this is really cool and I love it because it's similar to what I did with the uh, rail network where it was completely autonomous and the trains would just run so I like how he's done this with the cable cars that are just running you actually have to wait and jump on it's almost like almost exactly the same as in real life so really cool let's go and just land down over here it even looks like he's built a road for it that's nice Okay, let's go and put ourselves in landing. Probably go a little forward here. Fantastic, great. Let's go and get our throttle down and then we'll just kill our power. And we should be good. We can open our doors and get out of here. Fantastic, let's just make sure our throttle's down, perfect. Oh, look at that. So you can see them actually going up. Looks like they're using some wheels. That looks absolutely incredible. Okay, let's go. What is all this stuff on the outside? I guess we'll find out very shortly. Okay, so we have an entrance just over here that we can actually go and walk into. Some gates, some lights. Let's go. Ooh, password. Okay, so we actually need a password to get inside there. I would I guess I have to go into the Steam Workshop to see what the password is, but we don't need it. So we can just go through nice little gates that go and open for us. Uh, and then, is this the boarding or exiting? I'm guessing that's the exit and this will be the boarding to go on. Now there's a lift that's going up there and there's one that's coming down. I'd like to, okay, what is, okay, we have a utility room. Oh. Okay, so it just looks like some batteries and some firefighting equipment down here. Okay, let's go and get out of there. I'll close that off. And then it looks like we even have a pod on top here. Okay, so like a little kitchen slash cafe with a door to get in. Oh, this looks awesome. Let's go and move our way around. We've got some benches to go and sit. The other cable car is coming. It looks like it's taking its time though. Looks really cool. I love these rotating. Obviously, I think he's meant to be. Obviously, this would be the cable that would be rotating around. Um, but yeah, this looks awesome. Now, I'm guessing he's just used some some blocks going along on these. As you can see, it looks like just the wheels that are actually rolling along it. And then that's how it's going and just pretty much going along that line. Now, if you manage to do that with cables, that would be something completely different. Uh, but it looks awesome. Let's just wait for it to come down here. And you can see it's turning. I'm actually quite interested to see how... Oh, wait, does it turn or doesn't it? I don't think it does, actually. I think it's just a 
bi-directional, so it just goes in either direction here. Yeah, it must do. And then it must have some sensors for it to know when it's actually hits its location. And then it just waits, I guess, and then heads back. I could be wrong. Let's see. It's coming in. It's nicely rotated. Ooh, okay, that's quite a... <laughs> It's quite a big uh, stop there. Let's go and jump in or we'll see if we can jump in here. Oh. Come on. Okay, we're in. I'd like to see some kind of like cushioning system here. That would be pretty cool. Um, open doors in case of emergency. No, we don't need to open the doors. Let's go and sit down. Okay, doors are closed. We're now off. Oh, look at that. And now we're heading off up into the mountain. Let's, we can actually walk around here. So we're heading up. Oh, I'd also like to see some additional lifts going up to the higher top, maybe across the whole mountain range. But this looks awesome. So now we're heading off. We can see the station in the background. The helicopter's still going for some reason. I guess I didn't kill the throttle enough. But oh, this looks awesome. Just imagine like snow-capped mountains, people skiing down here. Oh, so cool. Really nice. Okay, and uh, let's carry on going. It seems like we're keeping quite level two, which is quite nice. So we're just approaching the top now where we can actually get off and you can kind of have a nice overview of the back of the island here, which is really cool. You can see all the place where we already started from uh, and how we've actually come all the way up here. It seems like he's got some barriers here just in case people fall, I guess. Um, it's got some barriers in there and oh, the ski lift, you can see it all moving. This definitely brings back memories of skiing for me. Uh, really cool. As I said, I would love to see this whole area covered in snow. Uh, probably a little more detailing also on his part here. He's done a fantastic job, but just some finishing touches. Uh, so the door should be opening soon when we should be arriving. Whoa. Okay, let's jump out. Okay, so we've reached the top now. You can hear the wind is really loud. So let's go and get out of here. And we're here at the top. And it looks like he's got some lights and some things where we have a observation. Also like maybe see some railing around here so we don't go and fall off. Um, but yeah, you can see this is really cool. And that one's actually heading off now. I said a couple more touches on this. Uh, I think would really, if you just put some railing around it, some barriers on there, but really congrats on this it looks looks absolutely awesome uh really really good job on the actual ski lift and getting it moving and the whole automation system i'm still not too sure on what this thing is i'm guessing it's just a barrier of some sort uh but yeah really really cool creation definitely go check it out uh, and I'd love to see this a little expand a little more and just done some more finishing touches and this will be a real, real masterpiece uh, here in the Stormworks community. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the creation and found this video somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.